Okay, so give me one second. I'm gonna close this door. All right, cool. So wanted to talk about, and I've shown this I think in past videos, but just for clarity, um, that you can just take drums. Like I bought this pack um, from Nanjira. Uh, he's a YouTuber that works with the SP a lot. And uh, this is the sample I took right here, or the uh, drum break, I should say. Okay, so we got, we got here what it sounds like. You drag and drop it into here and convert it to MIDI drums. Then this is what you get is this two bars of this exactly okay so there's the kicks there's the snares and the hats so you get the swing now this is what it sounds like with using other drums that Nanjira sells so you can buy his other kit which is called the beefy grit drum kit I think this is volume three and I'm putting those samples in and then pitching them how I feel they, sh they should sound for this track. So here's the regular, then I pitch it down a little bit. So now I got that MIDI going on, which I could deviate a little bit right here, which I probably will. Um, and here's the snares. And then what I'm using on top of that, or want to use, I'm going to let you hear how it sounds now. And then I'm going to throw another groove on top to change the way the groove swings a little bit. It won't be, it'll be very subtle, but I'll show you. It's the D'Angelo thing. I'll show you. Watch. I'm going to put a little juice on these jumps. Another trick is this is this is really only two bars, so I'm making it eight bars. So you could go in and start adjusting. Maybe on the last drum, you don't want the double kick, so you might delete one, right? And maybe on the snares, um, you take this kick, this snare out. Just keep it simple, right? And then on this one, we'll do the same thing. We'll just take out that part, and then this one. Um, all right, so go back. So now you'll hear. So you still hear the hat stuttering there. All right, so now let's talk about this groove thing. So this is, I'm giving you the shorter form. I could sit here and show you step by step, but if someone asks ask me how to do it step by step, I'll gladly show you. Um, by the way, I'm using Paul Stretch. I was going to use the new device, uh, but yeah, it cut me off after 20 minutes. I told the dev, hopefully, uh, it's called Sloom, but this one's called Paul Stretch. It's actually free, so I would suggest, and it's on iOS, so I would say grab this if you don't have it. That's how I made this um, sample here which is just riding across the back as a textual background. It's kind of like a drone sound to it. I think it gives the track a little more, uh, a little more depth. Okay. Then here's the, um, you heard the samples. This is, um, a little Valhalla vintage verb on top of the ample China Kong Hao is I'm gonna pronounce it. Um, and I'm using a certain preset in there. And that is from um, Ample Sound. So Ample Sound has really good Chinese instruments if you into that. And of course, guitars and basses um, are amazing. All right, so that's what I'm using for that. This is all played by me. The chords, well, the chords are using Scalar, but still I played them into here. And then you have this melody I played. 
um, here. So let's go back, we'll add that in, and then I'll show you about this groove thing. So, all right, so there's online, you can find them on Gumroad. Somebody made the groove um, uh, kits, I wanna call them, but it's like a groove thing of all these D'Angelo songs. So if you know who D'Angelo is, look him up. Or if you don't know, rather look him up. If you know, then you know what I'm talking about. And so I use the Me and Those Dreamy Eyes of Mine kit. And if you throw them on top of your uh, MIDI, it'll give it that swing. So here's what it sounds like without it. Okay, and then let's put this on here. And we'll just keep dragging it to all the hi-hats and the reverb. Now you could do this once and then just duplicate, but I'm not worried about that, I just drug them all. Yeah, it's got a nice little swing to it, I dig it. All right, so command um, option, Command six will get rid of your grooves, but you can see, and these are free by the way, these grooves. So you can, and just so you know, you can strip the groove from anything. So if there's a groove you, you have a drum break and you like the groove, but you wanna put some different drums in it, then if you right click on it, you'll see that you can, um, if it's MIDI, right? You can extract the groove right here even i mean not midi even if it's not midi you can extract the groove so if it's audio extract the groove um, obviously that works really good on drums so if you have the drum sample of something you can do it um so yeah there you have it so this is what it sounds like once more and i haven't even put a bass in And you want to know what bass samples to play? There you go. Okay. So I'm going to take that and drop it on here. Drop it on here and see what that does on this. Nice. All right, so just a little quick tip. And once again, for review, I'm extract. I'm taking a drum break. I'm extracting the drum MIDI from it and take the MIDI, place it on your own drum tracks, the kick, the snare, the hi-hat, etc., And then pick a groove from a different thing. You got Ableton has a ton of grooves in here if you're using Ableton. I don't know what other um, grooves for, I mean, as far as uh, other devices do the groove thing where you can drop a groove over it. I'm not sure. I just know I dig that about Ableton and, um, I haven't really seen it on anything else, but there may be something out there. I could be wrong. Um, so anyway, yeah. And then I'm using that to help create 
the vibe that I want. All right. That's it for this one. I'm out.